like to make my life a little bit difficult in my videos and today is no exception. Welcome to FIFA 21 career mode, but every minute I release my best player. I'm gonna give myself a 10 minute timer. Every minute that goes on in that timer, I have to release my best player. But at the same time, this countdown is going on. I have to try making signings and replacements in the background. So it's a little bit of a double edged sword because if I make a big name signing, chances are he's gonna be released. But if I play my cards right, and manage my time and money correctly, I could put together quite a decent side. So our objective is to get a decent team on the park and win the Champions League with Chelsea. We know they can do it in real life when Thomas Tuchel led them to a Champions League title, but can we do it without a large majority of our starting lineup? I essentially have to make smart signings faster than I release players. So there will be 10 players released during the video, and if I was to make zero signings at all, we'd have Kante, Silva, Ziyech, Werner, Kovacic, Azpilicueta, Jorginho, Havertz, Rudy Guy, how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and Chilwell all released. But there are a few players I really don't want out of the club. I don't want to get rid of Kai Havertz. I don't want to get rid of Timo Werner. A lot of these guys I don't want to be releasing, so I'm going to have to be very smart and very fast. But if you do enjoy this concept, it's a little bit different, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe down below if you're new around here. Oh, lads, let's get into it. So I have a couple of strategies for this video, but I'm not sure which one I'm going to honestly follow. We're going to get a timer going, though. I need to get it so it's essentially a timer. Do I do like a one minute timer and just do that 10 times or do I just do 10 minutes and keep an eye on the timer? I think I'm going to do that. All right, so the 10 minute timer will begin in three, two, one. Okay, so Kante, I've already accepted the fact that he is probably out of the club. But what I need to do is I need to get in there nice and early and get a few players that are older sort of players that we can get on cheaper sort of fees and see if they can be pawns. Oh, Buffon, I thought he was higher than 82. I was hoping we could get him and just virtually use, like the guys that I'm signing for the most part, especially at the start, I want to use a sacrificial lamb. So, Cialini, he's somebody I want to use as a sacrificial lamb. Who is another older player? Benucci, all these it older Italian players need to go through 33 years old. He's 84 overall, so we can use him as a sacrificial lamb. I'm going to virtually just go and get older players for the first five minutes or so, so that I know that players like Timo Werner, Timo Werner and uh, Kai Havertz and all those guys are going to be safe from release, at least early on. Need to make sure what, what time we're in. So we've got, we're going to have to release our first player, stop the clock, pause the timer. I'm going to be smart with it here, lads, but we've paused the timer. And we are going to have to release N'Golo Kante, zero pounds. He's out of the club. Thiago Silva is probably going to be next up. All right, so we're going to start the timer once again here. And we are back underway. I didn't hit pause straight away to begin with. So we're at 8.47 right now. So I'm going to go in and essentially try to sign Chiellini right now. See what we can do with him. Benucci as well. See if we can get him in. I'm tempted to just like, I don't know. I want to get them on the bottom level of the uh, of the price tag because we only have 77 mil to spend. I've actually said to myself, this is actually going to be a really tough challenge to even have a good side on the park after this. I need to be a little bit smarter. I was really hoping Buffon was a little bit better, but let's just go into the big leagues so we know we're getting big players and see who we can just shortlist here. I'm trying to be smart, like I said, trying to put some big name players on the shortlist so that we can get them out of the club early on some high rated players who do we have anybody Loris we can go in for he'd definitely be released then we're gonna have to hit the pause button again pause and we're gonna have to this is gonna be like the first five minutes is just gonna be me trying to find players to put on the short list but we are going to unfortunately release Thiago Silva Ziyech, we're getting into a little bit of a tough spot now because, let me hit resume as well, because I need to get, I don't want to get Timo Werner out of the club. So I need to make sure that we go and sign either Buffon or Chiellini right now, sorry, Chiellini or Benucci right now, and see what we can do. So we're going to have to sign them in the next two minutes. I probably turn off training as well. Setting myself up for failure here. We're going to go only rest. I can get the sharpness up later. But we've got 36 seconds until 
the next player has to be released. It could be Chiellini. We've managed to get him 20.9, it seems. Can we get him in before we have to release Thiago or Zich, it would be? Can we make that happen? Come on, 20 seconds to go before we have to release the main man. No, I don't care about Zuma. Benucci. Oh, all right, I guess, I guess I'm going to have to say goodbye to, to Hakim Zich. We're going to accept 23.9 there. Not spending my money too well at all. It's basically about saving as much of this Chelsea Bare Bones team as possible. As I'm going to have to hit pause now. I'll pause seven minutes. And it is going to be Hakim Ziyech. Going to be released from the club. Okay, Timo Werner's next up. I don't want Timo Werner going. I need to get some business going straight away. All right, three, two, one. Clock is underway again. I need to get Chiellini in the next minute. Chiellini accepts his offer. He's going to be a Chelsea player for about 51 seconds. Chiellini accepts. All right, now I need to give myself, do as much work right now as I can to give myself a buffer. I'm running out of money as well. This is going to be a really, really big challenge. So, uh, 26.5. Probably better off going for Lloris here because he's 87 rated. Don't want to pay 37. What have I just done there? All right, 28.3. And then I'm going to say, I don't want to pay any more than 30.9. But that's going to be a very interesting thing. My phone keeps locking as well, so I can't see the, see the time. We've got 20 seconds before it seems we're going to have to release Chiellini. Bunici accepts as well. Hopefully, he ends up being higher than Werner on the totem pole. But we're going to have to hit pause in five seconds and get rid of the main man, the new man. Oh, he could have. It looks like we're going to be sweet as well because Lloris is probably going to be out of the club. But... Are we going to be releasing Chiellini? Yes, we are. He is the highest rated player. I'm happy to see that Benucci comes up higher than Werner as well. So if I sign if I sign Lloris, that's going to make life a lot easier. But we are going to release Giorgio Chiellini. And the timer is back underway. So I've got two minutes. Like I, don't, I just want to keep adding players on top of this as Spurs accept 28.3 mil gonna keep oh he's a free oh i can actually should i try going in for chiellini again would it let me do that if he's a free agent would it let me go in for giorgio chiellini once again or would it be blocked because that could be a real fun workaround let's go chiellini giorgio chiellini can we sign him oh blocked from receiving transfer offers you are kidding me okay i put myself in a little bit of a hole here Need to find some more players to add in the shortlist in the next 20 seconds or so. Just going to go to the highest age there. And then get some oldies. Come on. Going to go to about 34 there. I'm trying to think of high rated players that we can try going in for. Oh, I've gone second division as well. I am my own worst enemy in this video, lads. As we're getting ready to hit that pause button again. Halfway through it. Need to get some high rated players. All right, that's a pause. This video is an absolute mess. I want to hear you guys. Like, let me know in the comment section down below. What strategy would you use if you were me? But, all right, the next minute's going to be a little bit... You know, it's going to be a little bit crazy. Bonucci is going to be released from the club. So, Timo Werner, we need to try signing Lloris. As I hit resume here. We need to try signing Lloris in the next minute. Otherwise, it's going to be old mate Werner that's going to be released. So, Lloris is going to be accepted into the club, so he's probably going to be the next man on the chopping block. Let's try getting some players, though, to add to the shortlist. Need to go back into that list here. Is there anybody in La Liga that we can add? Is it probably, is it worth me? Oh, Luka Modric we could probably go in for. Although, is it probably worth, is it, is it worth going in for these sorts of guys? I'm trying to get them into the starting 11, I don't know. Sergio Ramos could probably get him into the squad. That would give us a bit of a buffer. David Silva. How we're rating Soldado. Okay, we've got 23 seconds. I'm going to try. How much money do we have? Oh my god, we're in shit creek without a paddle right now. We are in shit creek without a paddle. We are not going to be able to sign many players at all. 45 million we have. Give or take. Oh, I've only got nine seconds. Can I get an offer in in that time? Let's figure out. Okay, now that's is probably going to be a go-to. Could probably go... Oh, I don't know. going to have to pause. We've got four minutes. But I'm thinking, oh, we're going to have it. We're probably going to lose Timo Werner, aren't we? It's probably inevitable that we lose Timo Werner. But Hugo Lloris, again, another player beaming the club for about five seconds. Going to have to release Timo. We're going to have to release Hugo Lloris. We've got a minute now to try signing somebody 84 rated or higher. Otherwise, it looks like Timo Werner 
is going to be released. The good thing though, it looks like Kai Havertz is going to be safe. So if I signed nobody else for the remainder of the next four minutes, Werner, Azpilicueta, Kovacic and Jorginho would all be released. So is it worth me just accepting the fact that we're going to be without these guys and then I try strengthening in other positions? Or do I go in for players to try saving a few of them? You know what I actually think I'm going to do? I might try signing because if we if we don't have Timo Werner, we're only going to have Abraham. I think it might be worth going in for a striker that is like 82 overall, 83 overall. Although if it's 83, I run the risk of him finishing a higher than as for the Kovacic or Jorginho. Oh, do I go for an 82 rated striker? I don't know because they're only going to be saving Jorginho. I might do that, honestly. All right, let's get the timer going. Once again, resumed. I'm gonna have to, this is not the strategy that I expected to be taking, but we need to go in for a striker that is around 82 or so. Do I go, oh, this is really, this is where I need to think what strikers I could go in for that are around that range. Need to get the age limit off here. I'm gonna have to spend like the next few minutes trying to, I'm, I'm crumbling under the pressure right now, lads. Need to get ourselves an 82 rated striker. Who is a good option? I'm just looking for that number. 82 or 81. 82 or 81. Calvert-Lewin's probably going to be too expensive, but we'll see anyways. Well, we could spend our whole budget on him, to be fair. Who else? Danny Ings at Aston Villa. Could go in for him. Jimenez would be too high rated. We'd have to release him. We've got 17 seconds before. Oh, Lacazette could be a good pickup. Lacazette could. Martial would probably be too expensive. Of course, he's getting approached by Barcelona. But... This go, we're going into damage control now because in about five seconds, I'm going to have to hit pause. He's going to be too expensive. We're going to have to hit pause now and release Timo Werner. Oh, lads, this is chaos. I've never tried anything like this before. And this is really testing my, my clutch gene. Timo Werner is going to be released from the Chelsea side. I need to go in now. Let's hit resume. I need to go in and just go for a striker that can come in and be a good option. So, we are going to have, Danny Ings might be a little bit too much, Calvert Lewin definitely too much. Ali, I think Lacazette might be the man, honestly. Lacazette might be the man. Let's try seeing what we can do here with Arsenal. I wanna get this one over the line before we have to release Azpilicueta because I've virtually accepted at this point that Azpilicueta, Kovacic and Jorginho are all gonna be out the side. Just about how much damage control I can go into here. They want Azpilicueta, which would not be good because that would mean I would essentially be putting Kai Havertz on the line. Arteta, I'm not letting that happen. We've got 20 seconds to get through these negotiations as well. Because once... Okay, I'll accept 33.8. Because once... If, if I was negotiations and we hit a minute mark, I would have to end negotiations to go release a player. So, I'm not going to go into the contract talks right now. I'm going to hit the pause button in 3, 2, 1. Pause. Two minutes to go. And we need to go release as Piliqueta, which is a big loss to our back line. As Piliqueta, the captain, the club captain, is going to be released. So essentially, Jorginho and Kovacic are the next on the chopping block. Oh, do I want to try saving Jorginho? He'd be a good player to have in the midfield because I need a big player like him. Although I could just have Mason Mount in there. I'm, I'm conflicted, lads. I'm conflicted. But regardless, we're going to hit resume now. Let's go get... This Lacazette deal over the line. We need to get him over the line in the next minute. So we're going to say, let's just say £104,000 a week. Can we get Lacazette into the side? Is it worth me going in? Although he's probably going to be too expensive. I honestly might go in here for Navas in a second to try saving Jorginho. See how much money we've got after Lacazette. But it's going to come down to the last minute here, lads. What are they going to say? Don't want to sell any of our players because we're releasing so many of them. Come on, Lacazette, accept the offer. He accepts the offer. Let's go, lads. Come on. Don't need the menus to be slow now. Lacazette accepts the offer. He's going to be our new striker. We won't be releasing him either. How much money do I have? We've got... Okay, let's play around with the wages here. We've got 15 seconds. I, I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, we've got money. Okay, good. I think I'm going to go in for Navas in the last minute so that we can sack or so we can save Jorginho. But as I get ready to hit that pause button now. It is going to be goodbye to Kovacic. Kovacic has been released. So here is how things stand. With one minute to go on the timer, Jorginho is the next man up to be released.
But I'm going to go in for Jesus Navas. He's 84 rated so that we can sign Navas and release him and then have Jorginho safe to partner alongside Mason Mount and Kai Havertz in the midfield. So let's get ready. One minute remaining on the timer in three, two, one. Let's go get ourselves Jesus Navas. Come on. So we've got 25 mil or so to work with, which means we should be able to get Navas. All right, let's just go in there and say 16 million straight up. Need the menus to be fast though. I think this is probably quicker right now than delegating. Why is the, the black screen lingered way too long there? I'm just gonna go in and offer the top money, 20 million so they accept on the dot. Oh my God, you bastards. Why are you being difficult? Why are you being difficult? 24.6, good. Oh no, we've got 28 seconds. We've got 28 seconds. I'm just gonna throw the money at them. I need to go through the menu. I need to go through the menu. How much time do we have? We've got 20 seconds. All right, I'm just gonna go forward a few days here. Please have accepted. Please have accepted. 15 seconds remaining. Navas accepts. We're gonna get it done with 10 seconds to go. And that is gonna save Jorginho from expulsion, from release. Jesus Navas signs on the dotted line right at the death. That's the timer and that Oh my god, that is the 10 minutes. That was chaotic. That was disjointed, that was chaotic, and that was all over the shop. But we've managed to get it done. Jesus Navas back in the Premier League as a Chelsea player, but he's gonna join Lloris, he's gonna join Werner, he's gonna join Aspilicueta, Kovacic, um, who else? Bonucci, Chiellini, all these guys as a free agent. What? Isn't it zero pounds to release them? Come on, I'm just going to turn this to that. Surely we have enough money to release Navas. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do some modding work here. Come on. Release. Jesus Navas. There we go. He is out of the club. So, we've managed to keep Jorginho as our highest rated player. Havertz, Rudiger, Chua, all these guys. Lacazette, the only signing we made that actually stayed in the club. But, we're going to have an extremely difficult time in life trying to win this Champions League title with Chelsea. But we're going to have to use everything to our advantage and see if we can do it. Okay, so obviously I need to get the sharpness going now. I turn that off just to make the work we can do a lot quicker. But this is the side we have. It's very mediocre, but I'm hoping players like Havertz, Pulisic, Mount, all the younger sort of guys can get some growth into them and can help. I think they can get like 84, 85 mark and get us at a decent spot. But this is our Champions League group here for the season. Step one has to be getting out of the group. We've got Sevilla, we've got Star Rene, and we've got St. Pats. Surely we beat St. Pats, but let's go see if we can make it out of the Champions League group stages. It's gonna be very awkward if we don't in three, two, one. Well, that is a very good start. We have topped Group E. And that is step number one, check. That is great. Who we got in the round of 16? We've got Juventus in the round of 16. You are kidding me. All right, here we go, lads. The first leg is away from home. We are traveling to Turin here. As you can see, some of the lads are picking it up. Have that up to an 85, which is good to see. But can we get past Cristiano Ronaldo and co? They've got Saka as well. They've got Boateng. Oh, this... I don't like our chances, honestly. We're gonna go, whoops, I didn't mean to go team management. We're going to quick sim it here. The first leg is a 3-1 loss. Ronaldo with a, Ronaldo could have had a hat trick, but he missed the penalty. Dybala, Lacazette getting us an away goal, which leaves the door slightly ajar. We might fail this challenge in the round of 16. I'm so glad that I worked so hard to keep Jorginho and then he's gone and got injured in a must-win game. Paul was sick also injured for the next five weeks. We are up shit creek without a paddle right now, lads. All right, uh, I'm not liking our chances here, lads. We have Juventus in the second leg here, 3-1 down. So many of the players are so tired as well because we've had to release so many players that our squad depth is virtually, it's virtually nothing. We are, I'm almost admitting defeat here. We're gonna quick sim the second leg and the scoreline is that we win the game, but we are eliminated, one nil loss. That challenge was tough. They say it's good to try everything once in life. And yeah, I've tried that. That was that was tough. That was a that was a challenge and a half. But lads, if you liked today's challenge video, make sure you leave a like on the video. I know it was a bit chaotic. It was a bit all over the shop. 
that's kind of the way I designed it to be. Subscribe down below if you are new around here. And if there's any other challenges or experiments or anything related to career mode you want me to try out on the channel, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. We are grinding out the content right now, almost daily uploading at this point during Sydney's lockdown. So give me some more video ideas. But anyways, lads, it has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.